I knew it. I knew you were lying about having a new sugar daddy in your life. David, it's a good thing you're not wearing glasses. They'd be all steamed up. After that kiss, ooh. Uncle Clint, yes or no? Are you Dorian's new squeeze? No, I'm not. <laughs> See? Since Dorian and I were once engaged, I'm no more new to her than she's new to me. So yeah, God help me. Once again, I am Dorian's sugar daddy. <sighs> ooh, hey. I know you really want to talk to John, but I feel like we haven't even had a chance to talk ourselves. Yeah, you're right. Sit. Thanks for coming with me. Of course. I still can't believe the judge didn't send me to prison. Well, how could he, after everything that my dad said? Yeah, and I still can't believe that you're that it was actually on my side. He knows that it was all Hannah's fault. She confessed that she was the one that pushed her mom down the stairs and blamed it all on my dad. That's why you got so upset and attacked him. And the fact that my dad is giving you a second chance, do you have any idea how big that is? He's giving us a second chance. We could start over. That's if you're willing. Welcome home. You know, about that, um, our things seem to be missing. Yeah, we got back to the hotel and everything was gone. And we could only think of one person who would have the, um, the guts ah. to pull that off. Your things, your things, oh, are they upstairs? Oh. <laughs> Todd, don't you think we should have discussed this? Discussed this? No, there's nothing to discuss. <laughs> You're moving in after the wedding. Yes, after the wedding. Oh, I forgot to tell you, with all the trial and everything like that. We're getting married tonight. We are in love. We are engaged. Why wait? <laughs> Let's elope. <laughs> Why? We, we just got engaged What? Two days ago, I've had this ring less than 24 hours, and it is so beautiful. <laughs> there are a couple of people in this town that I want to show this bad boy off and make green with envy. That's right. I'm going to take every minute that I can. It's not every day a girl gets engaged. No. Why rush to the altar when we can stroll? You came. Don't get excited. I just came to tell you. You can't call me anymore. I can't afford the trouble. Trouble? From Eli Clark? Is he threatening you? Yeah, you know what? This was a bad idea. No, please don't go. Please. If you don't help me, he'll kill me. Please. Do you know who killed my mother? No. But you know something. It's Bennett Thompson, isn't it? You figured out who he is. We don't even know if Bennett Thompson has anything to do with this. But if he's the dark, handsome man who followed Rex to Boston... No proof, Kelly. We don't even have circumstantial evidence. But you have a hunch. And in my book, a John McBain hunch is as good as it gets. So who is he? Blair, listen to me. I've been doing a lot of thinking... What? ...about our life together and our future. It hit me. You just, no matter how much planning you do, you you don't know. Like last night, my plane could have crashed. Would bite your tongue. It could have happened. I'm serious. Think about Taya. You just, you never know how much time you have left. So, please, make me happy and marry me before it's too late. Cole, I seriously need to know because so much has happened. Do you want? our life together? Do you want things to be the way they were before all of this craziness happened? What do you think? I'm gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> Nicole, I, 
I wish that I could, that we could snap our fingers and it just be the way that it used to be, but we have so much work to do. I'm sorry, I can't discuss this with you. You can't discuss my mother's case. I have a right to know if there have been any new developments. And when I know something new, you'll be the first to know, I promise, all right? But for right now, you gotta back off. You've already gotten too close, and I can't have you putting yourself in any more dangerous situations. I can take care of myself. Yes, yes. I'm well aware of that. And so can Balsam, but somehow this Bennett Thompson still managed to poison him. Which, by the way, why were you following him to Boston? I hired him. I can follow him wherever I want. Okay, that makes sense. You know what? I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. John, what am I supposed to do? Go home and play with my dolls? Hmm. Hey. Hey. Hi. Guess what? I'm guessing time served plus probation and community service. All thanks to my dad. Wait, d dad isn't Todd Manning? Yes, he actually went to bat for a call in front of the judge. Seriously? This I have to hear. I'll be back. Hey. Why don't you find the kind of break? <laughs> Me too. Why don't you look happy? Are you still convinced that Hannah pushed my mom down the stairs and attacked Ford? You, I can't let you live. Okay, I know what he did. I saw him. I was there. I saw him push Dr. Saybrook down the stairs. Ooh, not to rain on your parade, but you confessed to pushing Dr. Saybrook down the stairs. Okay? It's all, it's all over town. It's why you're here. I also confessed to attacking you, and I didn't do that either. And you know it. I had to confess. He made me. Okay, that makes you sound a little crazy. Well, he's obviously threatening you, too, seeing as to how you lied about who attacked you. Do you honestly think he's going to hold up whatever end of the deal you made with him? For the record, I know he made you lie about me. I know you would never hurt me on purpose. So what's he threatening you with? Next time, he doesn't just bash my head in. Ford, we have to go to the police before he hurts anybody else. We can go to Vegas. We'll find one of those famous wedding chapels. Oh. Spend the rest of the night seeing a show, doing a little gambling. He lied. You really want to run off to Las Vegas and get married? I mean, don't you want a real wedding? One with all the bells and whistles? Because you've never been married before. Well, a real wedding mm -hmm. needs family. And I don't have any. I wouldn't even know how to contact Ross. I mean, would we even invite him? I know you have a lot of people I do. that you want to share this with. The kids, I understand. When we get back, we'll have a huge reception and celebrate. It'll be a blast. Yeah, and Dorian will throw an absolute fit. No, she won't. Oh, yes, she will. She loves me. I know it's asking a lot, but you would make me so happy if we could end this day as Mr. and Mrs. and say goodbye to Blair Kramer. Start acting like a human being. Wow. I don't know. I mean, I always knew that he had it in him. Oh, that's him now. Hey, Dad. Hey, I need to see you. Well, it'll have to wait. Cole and I are out. We're celebrating. I'll bring him along. This is important. Well, I had to confess, so unless there's some proof that she's lying, yeah. she didn't change her story when you visited her at St. Anne's, did she? No. So what makes you think she's not telling the truth? It's just what I told you before. All right, that she admitted about Todd and that she set me up. And, and she swore that she'd never hurt Ford or my mom. Anything else? Just doesn't feel right. And, and when she called me... She called you from St. Anne's? Yeah, right before the trial. She said that there was... She needed to talk to me. There was a lot that I didn't know. Like what? She was uh, about to tell me, but then Eli grabbed the phone. Eli Clark? He heard me talking to her, and he grabbed the phone. He said he didn't want her to get in trouble with the staff making unauthorized phone calls.